this is Saturday, week four, I believe, of the build. As you can see, we have our sand and gravel, which should be enough to finish the project, so they say. And if you fan out over this way, you'll see all the dirt. That's going to be our backfill for the yard to make it level. And then all the rest will be hauled away. So, as we walk this way. As you can see all of our cocoa lumber. That's for scaffolding and forms. As you can see, they poured the column right here. So they got them, you see all the honeycombs, all that gets filled in with, with top coat, if you will, or the, the skim coat, whatever you want to call it. Stucco, skim coat, covers everything and fills all the voids. And that takes a lot longer than what they're doing now because it's tedious work. And as you can look up, the stirrups, they still have to tie in the beams to the columns. And if we walk this way, this is a water level, by the way. One of the best things ever for blowing off your whole house. But if you look up, you'll see a cantilever. That means that's going to be the roof to cover the backside. And also the beginning of the next floor. look up and see they're all the way through and it's going to make everything one solid uniform structure which makes it super strong oh yeah she's <laughs> As you can hear, she's laughing because she likes my pain. <laughs> and if you look over here, this is our drain lines to the sewer and the septic right in here. And this will all be filled in with dirt, level up, and we'll make everything slope that way to drain. If you look up over here at this column, they have a bag and they have another bag over there. And it's probably because they were stopping the leak of the concrete. These aren't smooth walls, so you can't get a good seal. It does make a weaker joint as long as it doesn't go through, but there is rebar columns going all the way through. It's all half inch rebar, if not five eighths. So no big deal. We can live with it. Because all these walls, remember, are filled with concrete. They put the hollow block in and then they fill them with concrete. Super strong. Not as strong as a solid poured wall, but I'm not involved with the construction that much because this is their game, not mine. And I let them do their thing. I look around at the structures. Nothing's falling. The footings are deep enough. And I let them do the job. I'm not here to micromanage, oversee. Girlfriend, on the other hand, tends to be a little bit more on the micromanaging point. Wants to know every little detail and issue. Poor guys. <laughs> They just look at her like, huh? Anyway. So, as you can see, this is it. They're working inside. We'll go ahead and pan the camera through here. As you can see, the beams are going across. And when we come out the wall over here, there'll be another cantilever, which then that's going to be the roof. And soon we're going to go in and lay out the outlets for the electrical. And there'll be beams from that beam over there. The wall comes up, it comes across, and the beam goes across that way. And that's your complete support for the whole structure. On top of those beams goes metal decking. And when it gets here on next week, we'll have the video of all that as they start the second floor. 
and they'll be starting electrical this upcoming week because they can work two different locations now. Once they get the decking on, then they're safe to work below. <laughs> making good progress. And next, the house. Imagine a second floor. So that'd be another four meters up, three meters, which is about 10 feet. Maybe four meters, which is 12 feet. And then we're gonna have a peaked roof that slopes backwards to the back and slopes to the front with gutters. And perfect. And over here, if you look, this is a grocery store right next to it. If you notice the price of the burgers are 15, hot dogs, fries, and figure 50 pesos to the dollar on average. So, and these are like slider burgers. They're about that big. They're like sliders, but you can't beat it. Okay, that's it for now.